What's up y'all, it's Shuffle, and today's video is on Shattered Heaven, which is made by Leonardo Interactive and Whisper Games. We're gonna show off a little bit here. I played for a couple hours, and we're gonna see if we can do a mission. And so, this is a roguelike card battler, and it's got a pretty um, in-depth, like, crafting system on the side, so you can make, like, consumables and... What is it? I think extra cards and stuff, too and also, you know, buy stuff, like buy gear for the the expeditions, and it's pretty cool. So, we're gonna take a look. And so, you have obviously extra unlockable areas, but you start off here and do a tutorial and stuff like that, but we are descending into the depths, apparently. So we get some free supplies, find a way to reach Sigurd and kill him. We'll see if we can do that in one video. But yeah, so defeat all the enemies and find the exits. And there's some lore. The game's got voice acting. Not for everything, but for, you know, the important stuff. And that's really cool. What separates it from other card battle or card deck building games. I don't know why I said card battle. I think I got like an email recently and it said card battler. And I just, you know, internalize that. But no, it's a deck builder. And, uh... What is it? What separates it is... Hold up. Welcome back. Looks like nothing has changed while we were gone. I don't know. Even though it looks the same, it doesn't feel the same. That is another of Aeris's abilities. That's how it is. Without altering its image, she can change the weave of her creation. So, what are we supposed to do? Just give up and hope that this last guardian of hers comes around on his own? No, you buzzkill. Damn. He's the last pillar on which this whole mirage leans upon. His barrier is bound to have a few holes we can exploit to get to him. We would do better to hurry then. We'll take the northern path. You follow the other way. <clears throat> You're leaving me already? What a bummer. That's a good one. You're a big girl. You'll get over it. Besides, we're going to meet up again once we breach the barrier. Nothing prevents us from teaming up in front of a common enemy, no? Oh, now you want my help. You should know that my aid comes with a price. Was it a steak dinner? Name it, then. Oh, really? You really want me to say it out loud? Look at any weird ideas. Hold up, this game's getting a little steamy. And <laughs> it's just the opening dialogue for this mission. What? What are they talking about? Nothing that should be discussed right now. Alright, it's time to go. Be careful, Onra. You too. Like a, a nickname? What? Floor effects. Twisted reality, the chance to find normal event is increased by 20%. Space chance to find arcana events is 5%. Clear vision traps can be evaded more easily. That's nice. Okay. See, so yeah, there's a lot of tutorial 47. World of punishment. If you want to unlock more powerful boons back in the hub, you'll need dark bones. You can earn them by fighting enemies and completing battle missions. However, the best way to gather them is choosing a word of punishment. There are some some typos, but yeah, a world of punishment at the beginning. It's either you're choosing a word of punishment and this is supposed to say word, or it's world down here, but I don't know. Beginning of the depth, if you manage to complete the dungeon with the active effect, you'll gain a lot more dark bones. Should we try it? Armor gain is half. Magni can't gain more than five rage. Traps deal double damage. Well, it said we have a chance of uh, dodging it. But this is like, this is a lot. You know, that's, this is, I mean, you know what, let's take the, the armor. All right, so the difference between this deck builder and other ones that, you know, it's obviously competing against in the indie game market is that you, instead of having one character that you control, you actually have three and they each have their own deck and special abilities as well. So what happens is while you're playing, 
you have to not only build up each person's deck correctly and then use their powers, you have to like, you know, do it together during the course of battle. And that leads to some pretty fun stuff, I feel like. And also when you draft cards, you have, what is it? Everyone has to take one. So you see, we got three. We have to assign one card to each person. So usually stuff like, you know, we can give support to, you know, our middle guys are support dude. That's Magni. And then we have, uh, I think Ishana is a transformation character who does some pretty good damage. And then the other one, Andorra, I think her name was, is kind of another damage dealer, but she has some um, combo effects, She's like a big combo character. So let's see. Unique self create a random adaptive card. It will cost zero AP this turn. I kind of want to give that to her to Andorra because she's our combo character so the more the cheaper her stuff is and she also wants each color of cards so there's red blue and uh, green and so each type of color she uses she gets a benefit <clears throat> let's see each neutral card in hand so yeah we're going to set them up like this usually someone ends up not having something great but trap we have a chance to evade but we also have a big chance of disarming okay and Dora took a damage we failed feels bad oh that was loud wasn't it hold up that might have been okay turn down a little bit <clears throat> my fear is that there's something i didn't catch when i was doing like audio testing that you know is super loud and then uh like it blows out the video or something like that but i think it's okay you know, and if I go back into editing and I have to uh, change it, that's on me. All right, can I, is there, okay. You can right click to drag. So yeah, the, the map layouts are cool. Each one you go to has, you know, something. Some, well, most of the time. Each room has either an event or a fight or it's empty. And you can see here, there's a lot of optional pathing, which is cool. And so we're probably going to explore downwards a little bit. Nothing. Event. Protect yourself from blasphemy. So, let's see, what can we do here? Smelt a card. I think smelt isn't to increase, like to upgrade a card. I think it's to remove one. Or suffer damage. That's not too bad. Ask for a tail, smelt a card, or get a strong debuff. I don't know if I want a debuff. Although we do have less armor. Let's ask for a tail. Okay, we get two weakness in the start of battle. That's fun. Yeah. Clicking around. The first tutorial dungeon actually had a lot of... Uh, it had very few empty rooms, so it's actually interesting to see that, you know, you get that kind of tension where it's like, is there something in here? And then you jump on it and there's nothing. Get a strong debuff or spawn a reward. Get a strong buff or spawn enemies. I kind of want to see what the reward is. One new treasure tile has been added to the map. I guess, okay, so we're coming back this way anyway, so. Battle time. Rage fuels me. Okay, let me turn it down a little more. I think, uh, that's probably okay. Yeah, really wild in terms of like backgrounds and stuff. As I was saying before, you get to run all three of your characters and against most tradition, your characters are on the right instead of the left. Yeah, so just nightmare fuel for some of these enemies. Just weird fungusy deer with like scythe arms. I don't know what the hell this thing is, man. And then we got, I don't know, the thing that hide, hides under your bed. So we got Magni's turn first. He, he specializes in like enraging. So a lot of his cards give him like a stacking rage and he gets uh, benefits for it, but I don't know, I, I have the most trouble playing him because it, it's kind of hard to get his rage to a high number. And uh, he's honestly just fine using buffs and stuff like that, but let's see. So they're attacking, they're each doing a single attack and you can see their HP up here. One thing I, I kind of wish changed about the, the UI or the, the UX or whatever, is you can, uh, let's see. So you can see there's like a turn order above me too. 
Which I guess I can put my uh, my thing here. I can go over here too. You see, we have like another mid mid battle thing to do. Use a skill, but the uh, the UI could use a little um, a little cleaning up. You know, like I, I would like these health bars, for instance, to be like under the enemy, so I know who the hell is who. But it's fine. I mean, I think they're in the order that they appear anyway. So yeah, let's see. Mm -mm. So you see our separate skills. The characters also get like passives and you can uh, specialize them into different trees. They have like three different trees each. So there's some really fun stuff in there. So there's, there's a lot of complexity that you can do. Whereas in a lot of the other deck builder games I've played, especially like roguelikes, they, uh, they have like unlockables that you can get, but not, you know, character building. Not, not all of them anyway. So it's kind of cool to see some difference. So Purge, you can actually, what does Purge do? Deal five more damage if the target has two or more active buffs. Well, they have no active buffs right now. So let's see. Single ally, Phalanx, and gain armor. So we're going to, since she's gonna get attacked, Phalanx, which I think is like reduced damage. So we gave her some armor and uh, damage reduction right here, yeah. So that's what I was kind of thinking of too. Like if we're getting less armor gain, for you know this mission because of the the dark bones thing then i think giving them just you know flat damage reduction with magni could be really good so he's full hp and here's your ap and stuff down here and like your your deck um he is getting hit i guess i do this let's protect her protect an ally from the next single target attack i could I could have just slammed this twice on her, maybe. But, uh... Oh, okay. So yeah, it's gonna do it regardless of whoever gets hit, but that's fine. Is this the best you can do? Ooh, she is loud. See what, you see what I'm saying? There you go. Okay. So Andorra is someone, she wants to use one of each color for cards and then she gets powered up as you can see here so there's red green blue and she can stack up some uh, some bonus and they have these side passives I'm not really using them yet but I guess we could pop one here cool down three turns give blessing and armored all allies I think blessings like bonus damage yeah okay unable to gain special points for deity which is her rage and then thirst is over here so that kind of sucks. I kind of want to use this just to heal. In human reactions. Alright. I guess let's kill this since it's got less HP. And then... It's bonus damage. Alright. Then turn. Bite. It was a cruel bite. It was messed up. Random enemy, six damage. So her thing is she can transform, but she also uh, has kind of like a, almost like Magni in a way where she builds up a resource and then dumps it for uh, bonus, like bonus effects. No, 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 I think, maybe it's not that. I think she transforms if she gets enough thirst. I honestly, can't, I can't remember off the top of my head, I'm sorry, but uh, so gouge is remove a card from your deck and what you call it. Uh, Andorra has swift, which lets you cycle cards. But yeah, so we can do three ble uh, three damage and inflict bleeding. It's fine. Bleeding is exactly what you think it is. It's just they take damage. Yeah. So was this limitus or however you say this? It sounds Greek almost, but. Uh, it's she transforms and like this weird death spirit Shinigami thing pops out and then her abilities get stronger for it So echo I think this replays on your turn Yeah So for one mana, this is two damage or 12 damage, which is cool or one uh One AP Gain a thirst actually, let's see in one thirst lose two armor Add a random hex. So hex is just a basically a curse card, where it's if you don't play it, you know it does something bad to you. So I guess 
I guess we can do that. Let's get some thirst. And then... Focus on this. We bought the rest of these. I could actually gouge that, um, that hex when it comes up, too, if I really wanted to. Deal five damage or remove a random buff to all enemies. Oh, they're gonna buff next turn, so we can just save it. Oh, the misery. <laughs> what? It gave Scared me a curse. Ashram, so yeah, cycle a card, heal HP. She's really cool for, uh, for that. Let's see. Overwhelm. Reduce the cost of the card by one for each card or swift skill played this turn. So we can play this for free. And we'll get rid of the regular attack here. Create a random adaptive card. I'll cost zero. Do I have any other swift? I do. Swift and hinder. If you played another non-ruby card, deal three extra damage. So we can actually play, uh, play this right here. And then we'll... This will come down to one. So let's get rid of this. Or let's come down to zero, sorry. All right. And then let's see what we get for our last skill here. Draw two cards from the deck that cost one less this round. Oh my god, I could probably... Might be able to kill this thing here. Swift a car, get rid of this. No, that's fine. That's fine. These are, uh, this is bonus damage. We could, no, I'm out of AP. <clears throat> I say, I could stall with that. All right. If I could have charged up my thing too, I could have, uh, I think she gets like bonus damage off this. For the Vestal, for Ashra. All right. Okay, so we can see the rest of our turn. We got Ishana able to go first, which is good. Um, horror, lose 5 HP, add 1 copy of this card in the deck. Gain infection 1 at the end of this turn. Don't think we need that right now. Add 1 extra damage for each neutral card in your hand, sure. And with the tower shield, just bonk. Edge! Alright, he's gonna bleed out. Very cool. I guess I should have played that. And there goes Echo. Got some bones. Got a tablet, and this mission here, I think this means like if you do, you know, enough combats, you start getting stuff. Uh, a lot of these are crafting or consumable. All right, so what do we got here? Draw two cards, gain three armor, that's pretty good. Who would like that? Let's be good for someone like zero cost cards. Gain four armor. Gain two crusade, I'm gonna give this to uh tank here pretty much got two cards for him the thing that is kind of difficult with the card drafting and stuff is that you have to take them you know you can't just pass up on them so you have to be very considerate about who gets what and that also means that card removal because it is in the game it's it's very important the moon was like inverse Remove curses, remove en enemies. Let's remove curses. I don't know if we have any, but we'll do it. X cards in each deck have been removed. So I, I think we might add one. Treasure key. Use the key. Nice. Hell yeah. Woo! Goodies! Right, can I just, like, go straight here? I can. Dunk, 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 dunk. Iron grass, so common reagents is to make stuff with. Uh, the bones, yeah, exchange for trinkets and other goods. It's kind of like gold, essentially. I was going a little faster than I was expecting, so that's good. Let's see. Gain loot and a strong debuff. An enemy might attack you. And just protect from blasphemy. We have so many of them. Trap. As we'll use our stuff since we have it. Nothing? What are you buying? Heal your wounds, pay 15. I kind of want that. Remove a... I don't know if I can get all of these or not. I don't know what a scapegoat is. <clears throat> I do have a little bit of damage. I would like to remove cards as well. Let's 
Let's see what the scapegoat is. Oh god. Is it like something? I assume it's something you can just throw to uh, skip a combat, possibly make an offering. Remove a card from your deck. Twenty-two. Uh, who? Basically, who do we want to have strongest draw density? And I think that's uh, Andorra because she has the ability to cycle her cards for free, and she has better attack cards than just the regular uh, attack. Another brazier, make an offering. Holy sight. Oh no. Oh, that's right. You can camp. I forgot about this. So yeah, you can uh, take a rest and use uh, these these action points to, you know, make yourself stronger and all that. Craft one handful of healing powder for every character. We have the max right now, I think. So I kind of forget about those. You can use consumables on your turn. Let's see. Heal one character by 50% of their max. Sounds great. I'm looking at it up here. Uh, let's see. And the you can keep doing the same things, but the cost goes up. So let's start smelting. Again, just getting rid of basic strikes. This is like, you know, some uh, card game 101 here. <clears throat> I might just do another heal, honestly, and then get rid of one more card. I don't care about Magni having uh, extra stuff, because he usually has stuff to do on his turns. Or two strikes on Andorra. Then heal her, Shauna. Alright. Uh, Magni, I've been wondering about it for a while. Why do you never take off your helmet in front of other people? I did not expect you to tackle such a topic. Oh, sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. It's a question worth answering. My mother was a woman of Ashram. My father hailed from Delham. They met each other at the border between the two lands. Who asked? They asked about the helmet, not the, <laughs> not the whole lore. Oh, look at these flowers, dude. I didn't realize they got, you know, scary faces in them. Ew. Have you ever done that where you ask someone a question and they respond with a story that goes like, you know, to the beginning? It'll be like, oh, that's a... I don't know, this is an interesting... It, it's like every single person that posts a recipe online and you Google search it and you go, oh man, I really want to know how to make... I don't know, au gratin potatoes or however you say it. And he goes, when I was a young lad back in the countryside, 40 years ago, I would awaken every morning to the smell of my mother boiling potatoes. Like, no one asked that, dude. Just tell me the ingredients. What? How can it be? I thought the only thing, the only winning people, wait, that only the winning people could have children. I guess they have, like, competition? I do not know. Not even our elders know that. What, how you were born? <laughs> one thing is indisputable. My existence is an unforgivable transgression. Damn. You thought your life was hard. Have you ever been referred to as an unforgivable transgression? Yet our people deem me worthy of a chance. Despite my appearance, they raised me as one of their own. He's super anime, so... That's probably what his appearance is about. In order to repay this kindness and to atone for this heavy damnation that sits on my shoulder, I must carry on my sworn duty as guardian of the Vestal until the end. See this handprint here? It's my own blood. Shed in repentance of my origins the day they gave me this role, but it's so like perfectly painted on there. This helm is a symbol upon which I have sworn my allegiance to our cause. In a certain sense, I might almost say that it's the best companion I could have asked for. Can't say that I've understood much, but that's a shame, you know. I'm sure your face is actually very pretty. Shame I can't see it clearly. Is this like an error then? Is he supposed to be wearing the helmet? Or is he like just kind of covering his face in the shadow? I don't know. What? Oh no, she might not be able to see. Because her, her eyes are kind of clouded. She might uh... I, I Maybe the, the ghost or whatever that she has with her blinds her. It's complicated. 
To a certain degree, I can see, just not with my own eyes. See, so, yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Me and Limotus were linked, so whatever it sees, I do too, somehow. And that's a good thing, sometimes. At least I know that Magni is very good looking. Ooh, dang, everyone just... This game's so thirsty, this is not the moment for useless girl talk. Aww. Man, let her head on him, it's fine. <laughs> Battle. Oh, that's creepy. See what I'm saying, man? Like, the, <laughs> the way these things look. I'm just gonna hold my own head with my extra arms, don't mind me, and then I'm just 18,000 deer legs. I mean, why does it walk with the four instead of the 12,000? I feel like that'd be a better, better one to use, but one extra damage for each neutral card in your hand, which is uh, this one. This has 25 armor, even though it's got a uh, 25 life, so it'll be a little bit to kill that. Um, Protector, Shield of Tomorrow, which is tank and block here. Um, draw a sapphire card. Lose all your armor, deal damage equal to all enemies, equal to armor lost. Okay, so we can build up a bunch, but I don't have eight rage, I only have two. This smells so sweet. Where is it? Impale. Get rid of... Oh, this gouges. Let's get rid of an attack. Okay, is that is that how she summons it? I guess it's just a card that does it. Gain two armor, one tenacity. Single enemy, pity two, bleeding one. This is going to hit everyone. Just It has a weird way of showing it because it cycles through all the pictures. They're both going to cleave me. That's cool. By cool, I mean not cool. <laughs> Let's see. Pity damage taken is increased by 20 and bleeding. Let's see what she have. One thirst, one gouge. They don't have buffs yet, right? Is this up? No, it comes up next turn. One thirst, one gouge. You know what? Screw it. Let's get rid of that too. Salvation by my hands. By my hands. Single ally, blessing to gain four armor. Draw three cards, gain one armor. What is this? Armor for someone. Everyone's got like one armor. Give it to herself. Ooh. This card. Someone I could find uh, a Schwift. Oh, it does Swift. Hold up. This will be free. Yeah. Yes. Bonus damage. Right. That's some good damage. Do I have enough damage? Or do I have enough? Uh, give two blessing and armor to all allies. Do I just hit this now? No, it's on cooldown. Kind of wish I uh, could have attacked one more time. I could have killed this thing. All right there. Did it go twice? Oh, you jerk! This went back to back! Oh crap, I should have checked his damage. He's got like a damage debuff right now, yeah. If I have more damage, the target has two or more active buffs. Oh, so why is it free? Hmm, seven or more rage? Oh wow. Well. Does it burn that rage though? I guess we do it, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's not spending it. That's good. A bunch of buffs. Repose, guard, allies, phalanx. Oh, protector reduces damage taken too. Wow. That's pretty cool. But of course they cleave, so... It doesn't matter. Heal, cycle the bad card. Um. I'm 
sorry. Oh, sorry. I gotta make sure I catch that in editing. I accidentally slammed the mic. It's 10 damage. What's overwhelm? Okay. Mm so we'll do... We have two AP still, so we'll go in a specific order. Okay, so we got two points here. We have to save them. And we will. Reach three thirst, that's what one of her things is. So can I get some some thirst? Who's two armor? That's fine. I did it. I accomplished my objective. Also, I'm dying. It's gonna cleave me again, dude! Right, her turn comes up first, so we can get some damage with the echo. Lethality. Critical chance increased by 10. I'll just do damage. I don't need the buffering. I just need to kill this thing. Try to leave the tent. This curse damage is just screwing me, man. Just screwing me. Alright, let's heal up. I can't, but he wants. Oh, here's see now here are the good cards. So when she gets enough, uh, when she's transformed and has thirst and all that, she can do a lot of damage. Just takes a bit to get there. I think it's this. Seven damage, bleeding two. If target's not affected with bleeding, gain two stacks. Mmm. Enlightenment. What's that? Gain one extra AP at the start of the next turn. Okay, that could be really good for uh, Andorra, because for her, you know, being able to cycle cards and stuff like that, it's really powerful. Deal four extra damage, or deal four damage, one extra for every point of armor on yourself. Remove all armor. Okay, that's, that's Magni, which is fine. This is pretty good for her. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I just like clicked the wrong thing. Okay. Nothing. Touch mark, get strong debuff or spawn a reward. Get strong buff or, or spawn enemies. Party starts next battle with bleeding. <laughs> no, in pity. It's not good. Well, at least we got a battle here, so we can't, we can't take any more big risks coming up here. Um, mm, oh, his rage came off. No. No way to make this cheaper. Spent my whole turn doing that. My super buff. The curse, dude. That's what screwed me last time. This thing cursing me. Wait, they they keep cursing. Oh no. We have to save them. Oh, dude, I'm just cursed forever. She has one HP. <laughs> I'm about to die. Wait, no, I can use the consume hold up. All right, hold on. I don't have my transform, do I? God, that sucks. They all went first too after uh, Magni. Um, one tenacity. I think we all need this. One extra card for each attack received. Hope that counts re uh, retroactively. I thought I thought tenacity was like the damage reduction. Let me kill this first, and then I should have did these first actually. All right, three damage and bleeding to all enemies. Do that. Any buffs? I don't think so. Okay. Gotta spend our abilities. Um, I didn't get any. I didn't get either of my uh, cycle cards. That sucks. Let's see if I can get one here. Nope. Hinder. Delay targets next turn by one. It's not going to matter because they all go after me, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. 
Doesn't really matter. Alright, um, let's see. Four armor and swift to card. We'll do this coming up here. Should do that first, but oh. I'll do it on her next turn. Do I look merciful to you? I don't think you're merciful, buddy. Let's crusade. Ace neutral cards deal two more damage and give two more armor. Mm hmm. Interesting. Alright. Um. Like this. This enemy team is just going to cleave me to death. I'd like to heal someone else. Move a debuff. Moving on her. I should have Actually, no, it's fine. Get rid of all the crap that's on her. And then, this is free. More consumables, though. I can start bleeding stuff. We're just gonna go in order to, like, front to back, so I'll bleed this one back here. Uh. Anything else I can do? I'd like to be able to use this heal on someone else, but I can't. I'm gonna save it. Alright. Ah. Okay, I probably should have did that first, but whatevs. Also, I forgot to check his skills. Little things that you forget. Insatiable hunger. Is this it? No, it's not. Um, not consumables. Yeah, just cleave them. Why not? That's what they're doing to me, bro. Can I kill this if I hit it again? I don't think so. Was that eight damage? Although I might be able to kill it this turn. With, uh, let's take it six. So close. Give her some, some armor. Yes, there it is. Oh, they're both here. Yes. Wait, does this one get the? Does this swift too? No, it doesn't. All right. Mm -mm -mm. herself a blessing. Alright. I probably could have just let it bleed out, honestly. It was a bit uh, inefficient for damage. Not yield. Ah! Oh, the crit! Oh, my goodness. The bleed comes down by, like, one per turn. This was, uh, this was pretty scary. I mean, we have someone that's almost dead still. Lose 2 HP, that might kill me. I think I take damage for playing it, so I think I have to leave it. Do a little damage. Um, gain 2 armor, gouge, and some thirst. also kill this. Wait, that's B? That's A? Oh, God. Alright. Bam! Wait, I can gouge both. Hold up. Get out of here. Alright, good luck. No! <laughs> she died! Ugh. I have not actually had someone die, so I don't know what happens. Like, do I get them back at the end of the the thing? Onward, Thunderborns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
finish the main app, but let's do it anyway. Bum, bada, bum, bum. Okay, so she's still here. Draw one card with the swift keyword. I guess for her, that could be like, uh, you know, draw stuff and... Okay, she comes back 9 HP. Not a huge penalty. Suffer damage or receive hex cards. Why would I want either of these? Just win the coin flip. Open! Sigurd. The Vessel and the Guardians, they are here. Why can't they leave us alone? Our kingdom is nothing but peaceful. Even if it was born from blood, we do not thirst for more. Do not anguish yourself, my goddess. The fault lies in their blind eyes and their misguided faith. They want violence, then we will retaliate back for our own sake. Such is the way of the beasts. Can something good come out from answering yet another storm with thunder? In the end, I cannot blame their fury. This is my sin. So, I should be the one to put an end to it. I won't allow it. Huh? Sigurd! We've tried countless times. Our words of armistice will never reach them. Are we the bad guys? Therefore, we will fight them in their own way. You say this is your sin, then it's upon me to share your burden to the end. You've already been shouldering everything for so long. Right now, you can barely... This is my decision, and my order. You will stay here, Sigurd. With me. I'll repent in time for this defiance of mine. Listen to your goddess, dude! This is the only command of yours that I will not obey. Please. Forgive this arrogant servant, my goddess. You shall bestow on me any punishment you see fitting upon my return. I, I see. You are the one already bestowing the cruelest of castigations on me. My dear, foolish knight. It's time. Inflict bleeding one on every attack. Oh, the enemies do? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm so dead. And he starts battle with two, two phalanx. You know, getting that uh, that half armor thing has actually been very detrimental. Because I think I could have uh, took a few more hits. Um, I don't have too much healing in the way of stuff besides like my items. So I don't really want to do that. I don't want to give them anything. I'm just, no. Not picking anything. Mm. I guess for him? Give her one of these? Yeah, okay. Wait, there's more? Oh, snap. Alright, well, it goes further. But, yeah, so that's that's gonna do it for this video. Showing it off against Shattered Heaven. Very, very interesting game on the, uh, or interesting take on the deck builder. So, pretty fun. And I will put a link down under the description for it or in the comments, one of those two. Uh, the link, it's not a sponsored link, but it's a tracking link because I got the key from a an influencer website and they want to see how the influencer does with it. But So if you click it, that's cool. If not, really doesn't matter. It's not like they're paying me. But yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.